In a previous video we showed you how to hook up two electric motors in tandem to one throttle. If you want to see how that is, go check out my YouTube channel and see how to hook these motors up. The first thing you're going to need is a dead outboard and then you're going to want to remove everything from the lower leg. Then you want to take the engine and cut the bottom half of it off. And the reason why you do this is because you want to keep the bearing housing on the bottom half of the engine. On the lower half of the engine you want to remove the lower leg and then on the lower leg you'll find the water pump and inside of the water pump you'll find an impeller and you're going to want to remove that impeller. Once the water pump impeller is removed you want to put it all back together and then you want to take your bottom half of your engine put the bearing back in it and put it back onto the leg now this boat motor has a half inch drive shaft and so we took a uh, half inch coupler and hooked it up to another half inch piece of shaft that has a sprocket welded onto the end of it and then for the bearing housing the bearing had a 7 8 bore and so we got a 7 8 drive shaft and we got it machined out to half an inch to fit around the half inch shaft. This gives the sprocket stability for the motors to be connected to it. We took two pieces of 3 quarter inch fir plywood and uh, we lag bolted those down to the bottom half of the engine and then we drilled a hole for the sprocket to come through. On top of that we basically just made a box and a couple pieces to bring the motors up to the level of the sprocket so they're in line and then basically just screwed that all together. Now this is just temporary, we put this together as a test for the sprocket and uh, it worked fine but it just doesn't have the look that I want to have when we're finished with this so it is just a box for a test. And then once we got that all put together, we wired up the two motor controllers to 48 volts and we gave it a test. This is our test. Do you want to do the honors, babe? So this is just a test to make sure I've got the right gearing. I haven't got the part machined yet. But... So it's going to vibrate a little bit until I get that properly because the basically what I've got is I've got the two motors... controllers on a sprocket and then I put that down into the motor but I, I just drilled it so it's a little bit of long so it does shake a bit but it won't when I get the proper machine part which we're waiting for but give her a go very full speed slow and then slowly speed up oh, that looks pretty good can we try it on the boat <laughs> 